Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I hope you are all fine. In today's video, we are going to make a DC motor speed controller with just a few components. It will be very easy, very simple to build, but also it will be very practical as well. Now, let me introduce the materials that we are going to use and after that, we will start to uh, make our DC motor speed controller. For this project, I need this um, heat sink. It's about four centimeter to three centimeter. It's, uh, it's a small, but it will be fine for our project. And the second thing, I am going to use a 50K potassiometer, as you see here. The other thing that I am going to use for this project is Z44N MOSFET. I am going to use this MOSFET for my project, as you see. Lastly, I am going to use 10K resistor, brown, black and orange colors. And I will tell you step by step my project. I'm going to use super glue to put the MOSFET and the potassiometer on the heat sink. Just a little bit will be enough. Now I am going to solder the resistor to the circuit. My friends, please look at the connections very carefully. Now it's time to um, connect the output and input wires to the circuit and after that we will test it. For positive pole of the input, I'm going to use this purple cable. And I'm going to use this black cable for the negative pole of the input. Look at the circuit again, my friends. These are the input cables, the positive input and the negative input. Look at uh, how they are connected to each other. Now it's time to connect the output of the circuit. For this, I'm going to use these wires. You know, the negative and positive poles are not important for the output because we will just connect the outputs to a DC motor. So you can use any um, cable. The color is not very important as uh, it is um, non there is no polarity for the output. Just I'm going to use these cables for that. Now my friends, these are the output of the circuit. These are the input of the circuit. For the last time, look at the connections, please, very carefully. 
before testing. Now we are going to test our speed controller. Okay, for testing our speed controller, I am going to use um, this little DC motor. I just used this DC motor to make a um, small blender. Now I'm going to use this DC motor to test our speed controller. I will make the connections. I'm going to connect the little motor to the output of the circuit. Um, this is my homemade power supply and I will going to connect the circuit to the power supply. You see this is um, the positive pole of the circuit. I will just connect to the positive pole of the power supply. And connect the negative to the negative pole of the power supply. Okay, let's test it. I'm just turn the potentiometer. Okay, you see it start to turn. As you see, you can control the speed of the DC motor very easily with this circuit. Okay, now let's make another test. At this time, I am going to use my voltmeter to uh, see how many voltage we have at the output of the circuit. Okay, let's turn it on. As you see initially, there is zero voltage inside it. There is no voltage inside it. Now I'm going to um, turn it very slowly and look at the voltage. Okay, the voltage is now slowly increasing. As you see, 1.4. Okay, it increased. 5.5 almost now about 10 volts you can get 11.2 approximately 11.2 volts um, at the output so it can be enough uh, for us my power supply uh, is providing 12 volts the output of the circuit we have 11.2 volts it's pretty good it's pretty nice and we can use this circuit for any um, dc controller let me tell you something else when you use this circuit there is not too much uh, heat on the heat sink now it's very cold there is no uh, heat on the sink so you can use this circuit for a long time in safely at this time, I am going to try to light this bulb with my um, speed controller. It's 12 volt bulb now. We will see if it will uh, light it or not. At the beginning, it doesn't light. But as you see, when we slowly increase the current and the voltage, it starts to light. Okay. You can also control your light bulb with this circuit. Okay, last time try with the little motor again.
Okay, my friends, we get the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.